Hello friends, so welcome to this video where I'll be discussing about the OR function and then I will also discuss that how this OR function can be clubbed with the IF function and then how we can use it for the logical purpose. Now, this video is in continuation with the previous video. So in the previous video, I talked about the IF and AND function together. If you have not seen the video, then I put up the link on the top. So kindly check that video. Let us start. So now here in this Excel file, first of all, we'll see that what is this OR function? What is the syntax over here for the OR function? And then we will take one example. First of all, we'll understand what is OR function. So the OR function in MS Excel is a logical function used to test multiple condition at the same time. It returns true if any of the conditions is true and false if all the conditions are false. In case of OR function, we'll be testing the various conditions. So just like in AND also, we tested the condition. Here also we'll be testing the condition. We can have here one logical condition or two or three or four or many. So here, if one of the condition is satisfied, then it will always show us true. And if all the conditions are false or they are not satisfied, then it will be showing us false. So at least one of the condition has to be true. That is the main thing over here. So now here, we will see that first of all, the syntax over here. So the syntax of OR function is that, that in bracket, we write down here logical one, logical two, logical three. Here it says that you can test up to 255 conditions. How many? 255. Remember this point. Now here, I'm having one example where these are the marks of various students, the mathematics marks and the science marks. They are out of 100. Now here, this is the condition that a student passes if they score 50 or more in either maths or science, otherwise they fail. The student has to get at least 50 marks in one of the subject here, okay, either maths or science. So let us start over here. So here in this cell that is E24, I type the formula equal to if I have to use it along with the if function. So if press tab and now in the if I'll be writing here or function press tab and now I have to write down the logical. First of all, I have to check whether this C24 is greater than or equal to 50. So I'll write down here this cell that is C24, whether it is greater than or equal to 50 comma. And what is the second condition here? Logical 2. That is this D24 has also to be greater than or equal to 50. So either the match marks has to be more than 50 marks or the science marks has to be more than 50. So here I'm writing if bracket or bracket C24 greater than or equal to 50 comma D24 greater than or equal to 50 bracket complete comma. Now if this is true, then what we want to see here, we want to see here pass or if this is false, okay, if this is false, then we have to write down here fail bracket complete press enter and now here we are getting the answer pass. Now, if I drag the formula down, so here match the person is getting less than 50 marks. So it is here fail. And here also see in both the subjects, the person is getting less than 50 marks. So at least the person has to get minimum in one subject greater than or equal to 50. So here in both the subjects, it is less than uh, 50. So it is fail. See here you can see that the maths marks are less, that is less than 50. But here the science marks are more than 50. So it is pass. Here also it is pass. Here also it is pass. So this is how we can use the OR function here. And we can check that any one of the condition has to be true. If any one of the condition is true, then the answer will be true. If both the conditions are not fulfilled, they are false, then the answer will be false here. Yeah. So this is how we can use the OR function along with the IF function. Now in the next video, I'll be talking about the IS ERROR function and the IF ERROR function. We'll see that what is IS ERROR, what is IF ERROR, and then what are the differences between these two functions. So stay tuned to this Zero to Hero Microsoft Excel playlist and looking forward to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.